Hello everybody, as you can see here I have helped to run to some shiny wheels and as I never spent money on anything I can tell you they originally belonged to this diesel car which uh, hardly drives anymore so uh, yeah I took the summer tires from it they've got more thread on it and um, they replaced the original steel rims which are stacked up here and they used to have these hubcaps on them and as you can already see they look a lot flatter and more slipstreamy and indeed I think the car's in consumption has increased by like 10 watt hours per kilometer now to find out we have to become more scientific and go for some test drives so we're going for the baseline with the alloy wheels now and yeah, as you can see, outside temperature is 25.5 degrees. Um, I'm probably not going to do the other run today because the car is getting inspected on Thursday and I want to have the, the good wheels on it for that. So the, the next run will be on, uh, well, after Thursday and hopefully at the same temperature. Off we go. So I'm setting cruise control to 70 on the to call it B road and then later to 110 on the highway I've got the windows closed I've got only fans running um, the car's tires are inflated a little bit uh, above spec so I think 3.1 in the back and 2.6 in the front and we will check that later on and make sure that the other tires have the same inflation okay change of plans the the circle is going to be a bit longer because everybody wants to get off on this exit that I want to use as a turnaround point. So um, I will just continue to the next one. Well, this test loop is getting a lot longer than I thought because the next exit <laughs> is closed. Okay, let's take another one. Okay, we have finally reached the turnaround point. I went all the way to Göttingen now. This wasn't planned. Um, yeah, so we've covered 40 kilometers now. So the test loop will be 80 kilometers in total. And we are back. Average speed, 73 kilometers. Well, it keeps counting down when you're stationary. And sorry about the glare. Um, yeah, one hour, six minutes. And total consumption of 15.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Let's see how it goes on the comparison run. All right, it's two weeks later. I have replaced the crusty hatch and quite a few suspension parts, but I don't think any of that's going to affect consumption. So most of all, I have put the steel rims or steel wheels back on including the covers, so let's repeat the last drive and see if there's any change. So let's film this as long as it's still readable. It's a similar time as last time and the temperature is exactly the same as last time. So at least some constants in this. On the other hand, I'm under the impression that the tracking is off, so I'm going straight now. You can see the steering wheel isn't straight. If I make it straight, Oops, yeah, we're going off. So the track has to be adjusted. Um, I hope that's not going to affect consumption too much to still make this test somewhat worthwhile. So same Baustelle as before. Um, I could have turned around earlier, but of course then it wouldn't be comparable to the earlier test. So eh. I've got to drive the full 80 kilometers again. The way it is. I've reached the turnaround point and we're at 155 watt hours per kilometer and down to 72%. I just faintly remember what it was last time and I think it wasn't that much more or the same. We will see. And we are back home. Let's collect the data. I'm not sure if you can read it. It's a 74 kph average speed. I think that's comparable to last time. 
82 kilometers driven, should be the same as well. Um, 15.2 or 152 watt hours per kilometer. Yeah, I think that's all we need to know. Now I need to go upstairs and watch the previous footage to be able to compare. And of course, one thing I should mention, it's not just different rims, it's also different tires. These are some Eco tires, the back ones, the rear ones are, uh, well, they're, well, Hankook tires, but they're quite old. And I think they might have slightly lower tire pressure as well. So we might have to keep that in mind when comparing the figures. So the numbers are in. 152 watt hours per kilometer with the steel rims and uh, smaller tires, uh, 16 inch tires, and 153 watt hours per kilometer with the aluminium rims and 17 inch uh, wheels. Um, yeah, that's not a whole lot. Also, I realized uh, on the like the distance is off. So uh, on the aluminium wheels, we measured 80 kilometers. And today I drove the exact same distance and it was uh, displayed as 82 kilometers. So if we correct for this, consumption rises from 152 to 155 watt hours per kilometer. So it's even worse. Um, I think what this shows is uh, confirmation bias. I just expect that the larger wheels to, to increase consumptions, consumption and um, then I must have been cherry picking uh, for some reason, uh, the drives where it actually the consumption was higher than expected. But now, doing this systematically, I think is the way to overcome your own confirmation bias and see what really is going on. Right, so I hope this comparison was somehow interesting to you. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.